Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And I'm going to be talking about today one of the biggest rumors in the land. It's uh, Frederick Anderson apparently is on the trade block for Toronto Maple Leafs now. I don't, we're going to get into why they may do such a thing, where he might go, and all of that. First of all, though, I would like to thank uh, all the new followers and subscribers. Thank you for subscribing, hitting the bell and all that. It really helps out my channel. Also, the new Patreon subscribers, which I'll put a link down there in the bottom in the comment section. Uh, you can check that out. We are uh, doing well there in a tough environment with baseball and hockey. We're still up. Uh, it's a betting site where I help you. Uh, I put my bets out that are very good. And you can use information and stuff like that that um, we get to uh, help you with your bets. And people are doing very, very well. Um, anyways, also, steelflyers.com, www.steelflyers.com. That is going to be an amazing site, and you can check it out now. It's got you can see that it's there, but they're going to be they're working on that site. And if you know anything about Hockey Buzz, you can go check it out. HockeyBuzz.com. It's going to be based on that premise, but times a hundred. You're going to be able to watch vlogs of all your favorite vloggers um, on each team. Um, there's going to be um, writers writing for each team, and not just hockey, all sports. Um, there's also going to be a live telecast that will be going on as we go, as we do it. So we'll be talking about all the topics of the day and all that kind of stuff like that. It's going to be amazing. So that's what's something to look forward to. But let's get into this trade rumor that is going on. Now, I've gone everywhere and checked out some of the places that Anderson might be traded to. Now, we have to remember that wherever he would be traded to, they wouldn't want much back and um, they likely would want nothing back. Um, so it would have to be a team that has cap space and all of that. Now there's a couple teams, Ottawa Senators, Detroit Red Wings that might have interest. I just find, think that of those teams, most of them, most of the teams with cap room like that are not going to be wanting to be give, giving up m much return um, certainly not high draft picks and so on and so forth like that. So I scoured, I scoured, and I came up with the perfect spot, I think. Um, I have a feeling that Colorado, the Colorado Avalanche, are realizing that their combination of Grubauer and Francis is probably not going to be the best going forward. Um Francois did very good in the regular season. He, he's a fantastic goaltender. This was his first playoffs, and he's looked a little out of his out of sorts. Um, Grubauer played not bad, and then, like he wants to do, he got injured, and he seems to get injured quite a bit, which is would cause them much difficulty going into playoffs. Not wondering if Grubauer was going to make it through. Um, Grubauer is probably best to be playing in a 1A, 1B type situation. So here's my offer. And there's there's another part of this. Just wait. Don't leave. I say they trade Anderson to the Colorado Avalanche for France Sous and maybe a pick, something of that nature. Then this is a three-way trade. This would make a heck of a lot of sense. In Arizona, it has been a rumor in the land all over the place that um, you can go check it out. Just say rumor coyotes. You'll find tons of write-ups on the coyotes are just burning everything. They're burning it to the ground. It sounds like to me that Arizona is done. They're talking about trading Ekman Larson. They're talking about if they're talking about trading Ekman Larson, they're pretty much talking about rebuild rebuilding, I guess. But here's the thing: I don't think Arizona is going to have a team much longer. So somebody like Eric uh, Larson, who's been there forever, is probably going to want to take control of its own life instead of wondering where they're going to move to and all of those sort of things like that. Um, so I can see that. I can also see the same for Darcy Kemper. 
Um, France, France South has a very small contract. It was $900,000 this year and then $2 million for the next two years. Um, Kemper is looking at a new contract for $4.5 million for the next two years. Anderson, by the way, has $5 million. Is $5 million a year for, for quite a few years. I, I believe three more years. And uh, Colorado can easily eat that. They have very low cap space, or they have a lot of cap space. Um, and I think Anderson probably would do well here. Let me tell you right now, I don't think Anderson's a bad goaltender. Um, not at all. I uh, I don't think it was Anderson's fault necessarily. When you have Cody Cece and uh, Marincin in your lineup and Cody Cece like playing top four minutes, I don't think it's your goaltender's fault. <laughs> it's I can't at least I can't put a um, really good measure on whether it's his fault. And considering he has played so well in the past, I would think that it was very difficult to hit for him to play in front of that defense. Um, that being said, even though he is good, if you can get Kemper, I would say that's definitely an upgrading goal. And uh, Dumba, Dubas, I mean, has said that if he was going to trade Anderson, he's basically came out and said it. When a general manager says an if and going to trade someone, that usually means that there's some validity to the rumor because um, they would normally say that's not going to happen. They're just, we're not trading Anderson, period, all of those sort of things like that. And that was not the case. He said if he were to trade him, it would have to be an upgrade in goal. Now, Anderson for uh, Anderson for Kemper doesn't make sense. Arizona is not taking any uh, money off for that. Basically, Arizona is going to try to have the lowest salary as possible to cut their losses as they move somewhere else. That's what I believe is going to happen. So getting Francois back may be a pick, and then trading Francois for Kemper and maybe a pick, the same pick, maybe a higher pick, um, would solve a lot of problems. Arizona would have a goaltender that has shown to do well in the regular season, can definitely play in the NHL for half the money that um, Kemper had. They also still have Ranta there. Unfortunately, another injury-prone goaltender. But when he's in the lineup, he's a beast. So they're definitely not better on paper, but they're better on on the money paper. You know what I'm saying? And Toronto Maple Leafs get possibly a goaltender that quite often, and if he wouldn't have got injured last year, probably would have been up for the Vesna. Um, maybe even won it. So a Vesna caliber goaltender giving up uh, Anderson, Francois, and a pick, not really giving up all that much and getting a great goaltender. That's what I think something like that is going to happen. That's my play. So we'll see if it does work out that way because it would be fantastic. Tell me what you think. Do you think this is something that Toronto should do? Should they be looking at trading Anderson at all? Um, if you think you're going to get Kemper in a scenario like that, do you think you could get Kemper in a scenario like that? I'd like to know your thoughts. Well, boys and girls, I just wanted to do a quick video on that because that rumor is pretty exciting and pretty neat. And I wanted to put my little lean on it. So tell me what you think. Until next time, have a great day and lots of love to you.